as soon as this dissertation is over, which I'm excited about. But I thought I would do another dissertation vlog today. Um, lots of you guys seem to enjoy the last one and it's just something nice for me. It's kind of like therapeutic for me. <laughs> Plus, I'm at a completely different stage now. So I think I recorded the last vlog probably about a couple weeks ago. Um, I think about two weeks ago. So I'm just going to take you chronologically through what I've done since then. It's probably going to be quite technical and like uh, probably boring. But I thought I should just talk you guys through everything. Otherwise, I'm not sure it will all make sense. So basically, I took, I ended up taking probably like a week more after I filmed that vlog of planning. I planned to start writing, I think, in the middle of the week, but I didn't end up writing until the Monday. So I think I must have taken like three or four extra days of planning time. Um, which I'm so glad I did, um, first of all, because it did, it did delay my writing, but, um, it was really worth it. Basically finished reading the books that you guys saw me doing, I was doing my big columns and everything, which was really, really helpful by the way, you guys. I basically came up with the structure during that time, or at least like the main things I wanted to say, which was good because I was worried I was never going to come up with that. And then the first thing I did was read through everything. So this took some time, that's why I kind of had to delay it. I read through my critical survey notes, my dissertation notes, the book notes that I had typed, um, just like for specific quotes and stuff, all my handwritten notes in both notebooks. And I condensed all of that into a document. I called it plan one, but it wasn't really a plan. It was more like a brainstorm and it ended up being a lot shorter than all my other kind of notes documents, it was probably about 50 pages in the end, which is a lot more manageable to work from than all of the other ones. After that, I did plan two, which was essentially me looking at my structure and just typing really basic sentences under each kind of chapter heading, just showing me where I'm gonna go. Um, no quotes or anything in that document, so that was just like a brainstorming moment as well, after I'd done all that reading. And then we finally came to plan three. So I basically combined plan one and two and made a structure, um, put my own ideas into there and condensed the quotes, the critical quotes I wanted to use and the book quotes I wanted to use again. Then I had plan three, which is basically the plan I've been working from. Um, but I discovered even that was quite an overwhelming thing because it's like, a plan for 15,000 words of writing. So since then I've been creating a plan for each separate 
chapter um, as I go along, um, which helps because then you can kind of change it slightly as you go, as you write, because inevitably these things change and tweak ever so slightly as you go. I wanted to do like a chapter over two days. Um, so a chapter was supposed to be 3,000 words and I was supposed to have four of them and I was going to do like 1,500 words a day. Um, after I delayed all my planning, I had, um, I think it was 13 days, so I needed to write at least 1,200 words a day. But it's ended up being a little bit different from that. I've decided to write my introduction last, by the way, you guys, which is something I never do. I always write it first. But in this case, I think it would really it's really going to help me to write it last because I'm going to know exactly what I say in the um, kind of main bulk of the dissertation and I need to know how much I need to explain um, in the introduction because that's something I have been struggling with a bit is that because they're sci-fi fantasy texts and there's a lot of unusual types of humans and there's a lot of vocab that kind of requires a little bit of explaining. I'm struggling to toe the line between explaining too much and explaining too little for my analysis um, and making sure that I don't explain instead of analyse. So I'm struggling a bit with that and I feel like my introduction might do just some of the basic stuff just to make sure um, the rest of the dissertation makes sense. So yeah, anyway, I started writing chapter one and I ended up writing the full 3,000 words in day one, which was great. I had, had a really productive day. And then I ended up, I was gonna edit it the next day instead of writing, but I ended up adding 2,000 more words. So my chapter one had expanded um, and it needed to expand as well. So I um, cut my chapters down to three. So I'm now working with three chapters. I kind of just rejigged it a little bit and I actually think it does work a lot better this way around. So then I was gonna do a structure whereby I was gonna do like plan a section one day, write it in the second day, edit it in the third day. But my chapter two has taken me longer. So I'm on my fourth day today of chapter two. Um, this one's about 4,000 words long, which means my chapter three will be shorter again. But again, I'm laying groundwork in the first two, um, just in kind of, in terms of like the world and the people in it. So I feel like chapter three will be fine being a bit shorter. Anyway, so yeah, chapter two is probably my most difficult conceptually. So, um, whereas with chapter one, I had written it kind of as a finished product. I mean, not at all, I will edit it lots, but I had written it quite carefully. Chapter two is definitely more of a word vomit moment. Sometimes you do need to write to work out exactly what you're saying, and that's what I've been doing. So you've just got to listen to your brain and your body with these things and just let it kind of come as it needs to come. So yeah, I've had different approaches with each of my chapters. So today's an editing day, um, and I really just need to refine exactly what I'm saying. There might be quite a lot of rewriting today. Um, I do think I've kind of grasped what I'm trying to say now that I've finished it, so I can kind of go back over it and make sure it's all kind of tight. I'm a little bit nervous because I don't love editing, and I hope that I can do something good with it. But hopefully all go to plan. I'll have something at least kind of finished-ish by the end of today. So ideally I will start chapter, planning chapter three tomorrow, write it on Tuesday, edit it on Wednesday, and then I've just got an introduction and conclusion to write. And then I've got, I think it's like five or six days for final edits. Um, so, Time is moving pretty fast. I kind of feel like I'm getting there. I'm technically over um, the halfway point words wise, but of course I do have a whole chapter and an introduction and conclusion to go. But yeah, I'm really hoping that after chapter two is done, it will feel a little bit easier because I was really on a high with the first chapter. Now I'm like, oh God. But I think it's definitely a midway point thing. Um, it just feels like suddenly like, oh my goodness, I have to do this again. <laughs> I just did it, I don't wanna do it again. We're gonna get there, you guys, we're gonna do it. 
Uh, as you can see, I'm at home in London today. I am looking after the dog because Zach's up north at home and my family have gone down to Devon. So I am alone in the house, which is a good thing because the library's not open today and yeah, I got the house to myself, which is real good. So that is where I'm up to now. Um, I was definitely right that the planning stage was the worst bit. I really was at the end of my tether by the time I got to the end of that, but it was all worth it. It's worth taking time to do that bit because it does make the writing a little bit easier. Yeah, I just cannot wait for it to be finished now. I am really, really looking forward to it. So anyway, you guys, I'm gonna get started on my edits and I will see you in a bit. a little bit naughty and I got myself a Domino's for my lunch because I've reached that stage of my dissertation when I truly just don't care anymore. I just want to eat to be honest and there's not much in the house at the minute food wise so this is what I got. I'm excited. So guys I am truly on the struggle bus today and unfortunately not in a hungover way, but um, yeah, I'm really struggling today because I've got a bit of a brain fog, kind of headachey type of feeling. But it's just an absolute nightmare when it comes to work, when you can't like move stuff around and whatever, and it's something that really requires your brain to be functioning. I just find it really, really difficult to concentrate and keep focus, and that's been the way for the past couple of days as well. But yes, I do actually know what I'm saying, at least. I've made some progress on that front. I think I have decided what it is I'm going to say um, and what it is I've been trying to say for a couple of days. I just can't be bothered to actually put it into words and because, like I said, it's quite a difficult conceptual thing, it's really difficult to put it all into words and make it all make sense. Um, I'm trying to use as much of what I've already written as possible because I just don't know if I have it in me to rewrite the whole thing. And I don't think I need to, um, although this knowledge would have been helpful a couple of days ago, but that's the nature of these things. But I am going to do a little bit of rewriting and rejigging, um, but I really just can <laughs> find it really, really hard to concentrate today. But anyway, I'm going to get back to it. Do you see my smug face right now? I think I have got chapter two. It's still probably not quite as refined as my first chapter, but it is significantly better than it was looking this morning and I think it now has like a point. Um, and I think it belongs where it is and um, I'm not going to have to come up with any new ideas which I was a little bit worried about at the beginning of this morning um, but it's all worked out and I have 
something I'm relatively pleased with. Like I said, it's still not as refined as chapter one, I don't think, but I will come back to it when I do my general edits because I haven't got the energy for them today. Um, I ended up opening just a blank document and rewriting and rejigging some of it because sometimes it just looks like too much. Um, I did use a lot of what I already had, but I kind of copied and pasted which bits were relevant and rewrote some bits that would be more relevant. So yeah, I'm really pleased. I thought that was gonna take me into the night because I've been taking it really slow today. I am trying to listen to my body when and where I can and just if I need to take an hour break, then I do that because um, like I said in my last video, this kind of thinking is really taxing and trying not to rush too much through my days and just let it kind of come to me. Um, and yeah, I was thinking I was gonna have to go late into the night, but it's only quarter past seven, so that's really good news. I can have a relaxing evening and get started on planning chapter three tomorrow. I also have a video to film tomorrow and I wanna edit this vlog and that video. So um, it'll be a busy day tomorrow, I think, but I'm thinking because of what's happening in my final chapter, it's not gonna take me ages to, um, to plan it. So hopefully I can do both things. And yeah, I'm really super pleased. That's kind of like the really big bulky stuff done. So I feel really, I don't know if you guys can tell compared to my mood this morning, but I feel really relieved. Um, it's always a bit scary when you're not sure quite how something's gonna turn out. Um, it's ended up being 4,237 words, which is quite a lot. I have just under 3,000 words for my third chapter if I want to do 2,000 for my introduction and 1,000 for my conclusion. We'll see how that goes. I'm an overwriter, if you can't already tell. Probably just gonna chill out with Mimi. I've got some pizza still, so that's what I'm gonna have for my dinner. Did that on purpose, so I didn't have to make anything for my dinner. Um, I have got some new clothes to show you guys. I don't know if I'll do it in this video. Probably will, actually. Maybe I'll show you tomorrow. Um, it, I've been really terrible. I don't know if you guys have the same thing, but when I am writing an essay or I've got deadlines or something, I end up shopping. Because my evening will probably be very uneventful. I'm probably going to end this little bit here. I will see you guys tomorrow when I'm hopefully looking a little bit more presentable. Um, thank you for making it through this first section if you did, because I imagine it's pretty boring. So guys, thought I'd do my little try on for you. I'm in my mum's room because slightly more aesthetically ple pleasing than my own room at the moment. So I've got this skirt from Topshop. Really like the belt on this. It gives a really nice shape. I've just tied up a t-shirt and then I've got on my cowboy boots as well. But yeah, I'm really liking this. I think it'll be a staple piece for my kind of transitional season wardrobe. So next up we have this crazy wild coat. I love this. I feel like it's going to be a bit of a Marmite piece though. The um, jumper that I showed in my last kind of vlog haul thing because the colours really go together nicely but I think it would work well with an all black outfit because of the black running through. Um, this is from Topshop by the way. I just love this, I think it's really fun. Um, I've seen it all over my Instagram already. It's got a really fun little blue lining as well. And yeah, I'm loving it. I feel like um, it would work really well over any kind of simple black outfit, like a black dress or anything like that. Um, gonna be, again, a nice transitional piece, I think, because it's not massively warm. So next we have this really super cute jumpsuit from Topshop. Not sure if these are the shoes I would pick for it now that I'm seeing it on camera, but I really like this. It's got a kind of 60s or maybe 70s vibe to it. It's denim. Um, if you guys can see, it's got a contrast stitch, which is super, super nice. It's belted again, so it's very flattering on my body type. Um, yeah, I'm really liking this. Also, it's really cozy and warm because it's denim, but it's not too, but it's not too stiff or anything. But I think this will be really nice for um, some of those cooler months if I'm wanting to look a little bit smart. If I don't want to wear a jumper, I think this would be a nice option because it is nice and cozy. So, yeah, loving this. Um, feeling very kind of ladylike in it, even though it's a, 
it's like a boiler suit basically. We have a visitor because she came to find me all the way upstairs because I have been <laughs> filming all morning and I think she missed me. Um, but anyway, I also have this um, snakeskin print shirt from Topshop. I feel like something out of an 80s um, music video or something in this and I'm, <laughs> I'm loving it. Um, yeah, it's really, really nice. It falls really nicely. I like the big kind of balloony sleeves. I don't love the material. It's that kind of polyestery material um not the worst version of it but it is but that's what it's made of so next i have this cord shirt from and other stories which i love i wore it in a insta story recently it is so nice i had to buy it like a few sizes too big and it was already oversized and i was so i was a bit worried it would look bad oversized but i think it looks really really nice um yeah, they'd sold out of the smaller sizes and I was desperate for it because I just really like the cream cord. I think it's just really nice and sort of semi-chic at the same time as being comfy. Because it's cord as well, it's one of those things you could probably wear over a jumper or anything like that as well because just because um, it's a little bit thicker. Next, in my animal print parade, I'm wearing this kind of super subtle... Um, and other stories leopard print jumper. I really love the big thick black neckline just makes it a little bit more interesting and different and gives it a bit more shape which I like. Yeah it's just really nice. I like the kind of fluffiness of it. I don't know how that will wash but yeah I like the fluffiness of it and I think you could do like a turtleneck under it as well. Really nice way to work animal print into your winter wardrobe. Next I have this gorgeous jacket to show you guys from and other stories i love 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 this i just think the fit and cut of this is so nice it's quite big on the shoulders and just folds in a really really nice way and i haven't got any camel kind of blazers or jackets like this and i feel like it's one of those things that might become a little bit of a staple for me and then underneath i've actually got two more and other stories pieces on but i'm not sure about either of them i think the jeans are a little bit too small for me i got them in my usual size but the denim is really super stiff um and i'm just not sure they're a totally flattering cut on the eyes they're just not fitting right they're not coming up high enough um and i think that must be because they're not my they're not the right size and then I've got this jumper on which I think would look a little bit nicer if I was wearing a pair of jeans that fit me um what do you guys think it's got kind of like these um slightly looser sleeves and then a thin wrist which is something that I do usually really like um I don't know what do you guys think of this so I'm gonna go and eat some lunch now because I'm real hungry and I'm probably also gonna leave the vlog here I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. The next vlog you should see from me should be a post dissertation one, which I'm super, super excited for. I don't know if there might be a video before my dissertation's over, my deadline's on the 6th of September, um, for those of, you guys, those of you who are wondering. But definitely the next vlog will be a post dis one. Maybe in a future vlog I'll just kind of round up how I found the whole process. Um, and I probably will write a blog post as well actually about it um, but yes that's it from me um, I will see you guys as soon as I possibly can bye